Lockjaw is a dog. <laughs> when you throw cards at him, he fetches another card and brings that to you. Wow. Yeah. Oh my god, this deck is cracked. <laughs> What's up, nerds? So there's nothing special to say here or anything complex to hash out. It's a lockjaw deck. The only thing I will say, it's a very greedy version because... Greed is good. Yeah, so the only things we're cycling into lockjaw are the hammers, Stormbreaker, Mjolnir, Jubilee, and Wasp itself. Everything else in the deck is a payoff. But yeah, what else am I going to say? It's a lockjaw deck. It puts out big points. Brain happy. Game time. Real quick before we get into the video, I want to let you guys know about my sponsor, Into the AM. They are a men's fashion brand based out of California. You can get 10% off site-wide using the link in the description below or just using Nerf10 at checkout. They have everything from insane, weird graphic design t-shirts to the basics. On to the video. Uh, duty hand. So almost every starting hand with this deck just kind of looks like trash. Um, as long as you draw like, like that, <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> okay, uh, I think we put Lockjaw in the middle. Yeah, let's put it in the middle. We can switch it to New York if we have to. Let's do this. Uh, there's beta on the left. Beta on the left for sure. On Jane Foster. That'll do. That will do. Yep, you definitely do that here. Super sweet if it pulls like Infnot and Stormbreaker. That'd be amazing. That works really well too. Because now Jubilee's not going to swap with something small. It's either Infinite or Thor. Nice. All systems go. Super duper nice. Um, I think we do this. <laughs> Victory. Cool. That's scary. Uh, not bad. I'm gonna go lockjaw on three. Definitely don't put it at turn eight range because I don't want to rock in my lockjaw lane. This just in. Boo. Okay, this is super good. Well, in worst case scenario, he storms the lane that we play Lockjaw, um, but it's fine. We get one cycle out of it. Cool. Yeah, we got Lockjaw here, and let's go ahead and cycle with the Wasp at Quantum Tunnel just in case he storms there, which I think he's going to. Yeah, okay. Wind aid my hand. We'll just put Beta over there. I guess we could play Storm as a follow-up or Jubilee. I think Beta is the best option though. Because that might give us some fuel to put into our Lockjaw. What? Sinister. Oh, it's uh, Cerebro 2. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see, he can add a lot there actually. It's not just eight. I was thinking, oh, you can add eight, but no, it's much more neat. Definitely play Jubilee here. Uh, get two cycles. And uh, it's pretty much gonna be a Stormbreaker or something good. That's good. <laughs> we get, yeah, 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 we get Wasp and Stormbreaker. No, we don't get wasp buffs already over there. Okay. Um, that's fine. We can just do... If we do this... And... This... I think we'll win over there. No, he could... Okay, so if you put Cerebro and Mystique down... He will only win one lane. So yeah, he's going to play Cerebra and then like Groot or something. So let's do this to pull the storm. Um, and then I'll add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'll be at 12 and I'll be at 13. 
Yeah, I think this is the winning play. Oh wow, he just went for that. Okay, um, I still think I win though because we pull the storm over there and I have uh, 12 and then I win by tiebreakers. As long as I don't discard swarm. I uh, storm, it's not swarm, swarm, uh, almost. Just discard infinite or something. Okay, cool. <laughs> nice. Next game. Okay, Bear, Quantum Tunnel, and Thor, so I think we're fine. Ooh. Yeah, let's just do that now. If it pulls Jane, oh well. I would like to pull Beta or something. What? The best case scenario, all right. <laughs> yeah, we can play Thor over there. Oh, now we got Jane too. We, I would snap if this wasn't a recorded game. I'm not sure we play, where we play Dracula though. Maybe in the middle, just to give us like the option to win in the middle if we really need to. Um, yeah, let's do Dracula in the middle. We'll Thor next turn. And then we will finish with the Jubilee at Quantum Tunnel. Yeah, sounds good. Seems good. Yeah, let's Jane Foster here. We draw three things. All good. And then we just cycle a bunch at Quantum Tunnel. Sure. I guess we could even like Magneto to screw his last play up. Huh? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Now we can only play Scar. Boo. Um, well, I suppose we just win the Quantum Tunnel. Still need to, um... You know what? Let's... I do do I want a Magneto or do I just want a Scar? I think I just Scar. If I Scar, all right, let's just say he Odin's here. That would put one, two, three. That would add 24 over there. So a Scar and a Mjolnir would just tie over there? Huh. Okay, this seems a little weird, but I think we go this this and this to maybe pull me no god i don't know all right time's running out panic i'm panicking quick decision panicking let's just do this and hopefully dracula discards like giganto or something to me. or we get a second mule near with this wasp pull right here Yes. Okay, cool. That's what we needed. Now we win. All right. <laughs> cool. Super good hand. Abby's good too. Probably can't win it, but... We definitely put Lockjaw there. Usually that means people overinvest to winning the, the, the Abbey and then Lockjaw will be able to win that lane easy because they have small things there and we can put big things there. Um, do I want to... So, yes, I think I want to cycle now. Let's just do it now. Rude. Cool. Um... I th think we play, th yeah, we definitely play Thor first, and then we play Lockjaw. Yeah, let's go Thor here. We go, oh, definitely, yeah, oh, this is super sick. Lockjaw and Wasp, which, yeah, this is great. This is great. Very, very great. 
Just don't pull Mjolnir, that's all I want. I need like a Magneto. Alright. Um, now we can Jane Foster over at Lemuria. Sure. Ooh, Scar's super cheap already. Uh, we can go Dracula into Scar next turn. Yeah, this is fantastoid. That'll work. I don't know, but that's how I feel. Nice, nice. Totally fine. Totally fine. Sure. Final turn. Um, cycle. Cycle. Dracula. Scar. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. Not bad. Alright, we win the Abbey. There's no way we lose the Abbey. Cool. There's no way we lose Lemuria. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just everyone runs Shang-Chi now. It's fine. Sure. Yeah, that's cool, because Dracula. Alright. Uh, Mojo World's not the best for us, but we can just put Lockjaw there, so that's fine. That helps. It helps. So does Jubilee. Maybe we just go Thor in the middle. Yeah, let's go Thor in the middle. Let's go ahead and cycle Wasp now. I, actually, we'll cycle Wasp before Thor, because we don't want to pull Mjolnir. We want to pull, like, Beta or one of the big boys. Cool. That's a big boy. <laughs> um, sure, we can lock draw here and the next turn we'll just Jubilee at uh, Mojo World. Obviously, what deck doesn't run Shang-Chi now? Um, that sucks. That sucks. Let's go ahead and Jubilee over here, though. Because I don't want to him psych to cycle back into um, Shang-Chi at Quantum Tunnel. Oh, that's not good. At least this is going to be a big card right here. Okay. That's not a good card. <laughs> um. Can we win? Uh, it's going to be... Scar, Thor, or Jubilee on the right, so basically putting in whatever over there might win us that location. So just put Dracula there. Or, you know what? No, let's play Magneto to pull Kyra and Miss Marvel, and if we don't win Quantum Tunnel, we can still win Mojo World or Central Park because we're pulling everything. Yeah. Yeah, so it's not too much power over there. We can still win it if we pull Scar here. Or Jubilee. Ah. Well, we still win Mojo Worlds because we have more cards there. Alright, that worked out. Not bad. Not bad. Hey, thanks for making it this far in the video. Um, as you can see, this deck is really good. I think being greedy with uh, this type of deck right now is the way to go. Everyone's doing, everyone has Shang-Chi and um, it seems weird, but putting more stuff that can get Shang-Chi'd into this deck makes it better because they can't Shang-Chi every lane, basically. Either that or try out armor or Kyra in one of these slots. Uh, it's self-promotion time. If you like my hoodie, uh, check out the description and the link in the description uh, down below. Members of the channel get 10% off. It's not merch. It's just cool clothes that I want people to wear without even caring about me or this channel. Also, thanks to my sponsor, Into the AM. Uh, check them at, out as well. They do like 
sort of a, a birch box thing for guys. It's like a t-shirt a month. It's really cool. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, you get 10% off at their site with code NERF10 or using the link in the description as well. That's it. Later, nerds.